Welcome back, guys. Uh, we're Veterans for America First. We have an incredible announcement right now. So, Admiral, take it away, sir. Hey, brother and sister veterans, it's my honor this morning right here at First Landing in Virginia Beach at uh, Fort Story to announce that Father James Altman has agreed to become our Veterans for America First chaplain. Yes, yes, and yes. To, and to lead us in uh, bringing more chaplains, more ministers, more priests into our fold and to also help us reinforce and advance our fourth pillar. You know, we have the pillars of jobs mm -hmm. and we have the pillars of home mm -hmm. and the p pillars of health mm -hmm. to help transitioning veterans. But mm -hmm. the most important that underlies it is the pillar of faith. Big and so general. again, we, we, we want to make sure that our veterans can reconnect with their communities and they can often do that through their faith. Yes, sir. And we all know, having served in the military, when things are looking down, yes. you can always go and talk to chaps. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. And, and, and this is one of the biggest chaplains right here, Father Altman, yeah. sir. Well, what Admiral wouldn't know is that when I was first ordained, uh, my ordaining bishop said, if I served in the diocese for three years, that I could go be a Navy chaplain. Wow. And that was actually wow. my dream. Wow. And, and here I stand this morning with you, uh, with this announcement, to know that I could be part of uh, bringing Christ's healing uh, love to these wounded veterans that are wounded not just bodily, but certainly spiritually. And I know they've been through hell. I've been looking at the hell they've been through since I was in eighth grade. I, I love the Navy and uh, wa just studied it. And uh, what I do know that the uh, Christ can bring his healing love to that. And just, mm -hmm. here's a good way. Our Blessed Mother in Fatima, remember she showed those three little children yes, hell, did. right? Mm -hmm. And what did the children say? If she had not also shown us heaven, we could not have survived the hell. Mm -hmm. So our job as a chaplain, as a chappy, is, is to bring that light of heaven mm -hmm. to these people who have lived through the hell and I'm honored and privileged and I can't thank you enough for giving for allowing me to, ser to serve these people who have served us so so well so long good 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 and I will say this you know as, as part of Veterans for America first and the fact that you are coming out it is vitally important for the veterans to be able to look at folks who have gone through that hell too because see when you speak sir because you've gone through the same things just like with the Admiral because you have seen it for yourself your words of authenticity and and you can have empathy, not sympathy, right. but empathy yeah. for our fellow veterans. So we want to thank you for all that you do. I'm so happy. I'm elated, man. You, you, you see a black man blessing. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. okay. So, Admiral, you get the last word, sir. It's very simple. Chaps, welcome aboard. Yay! Thank you, Admiral. God bless you. Thank Amen. you. Okay. On behalf of Veterans for America, first, God bless you guys. You know, Father Altman is available. Admiral is available. And we are going to stand for this country. Let's go get them. Bye-bye, guys.